Hey guys, Eric from Team Rec here. Uh, we got something a little bit different today. We're going to do a uh, vault tour, or what's in my vault. This one's for the uh, collectors out there. Um, I know we've been doing a lot of competitive uh, meta-based videos lately, but we're going to switch it up today and uh, just show off some of the uh, holdings. Um, yeah, these are my most uh, precious cards, I'll say. Some of my most favorite cards. And, um, yeah, I'm going to run you through, um, talk about them a bit. Hopefully try to keep this, uh, pretty short. There's a lot to go through. Um, yeah, so let's get started. Uh, we got the classic, uh, tour guide from the underworld from Extreme Victory. Um, I remember trying to get these when they, uh, not right when they came out, but in Tengu plant format. Uh, these were pretty tough to track down, uh, a couple hundred bucks, um, I actually picked this up when I started playing again in 2017. It was only 30, 40 bucks, but this is uh, appreciated quite nicely. So, um, one thing you should always do is um, pick up those first head secrets, um, especially if they were meta relevant cards back in the day. Pick them up when they're on the low because you never know when they can. Uh, you know, fade into relevancy or fade out of relevancy again. Um, but, um, yeah. First, add Dark Samorg from Stardust Overdrive. First, add uh, Gemini Elf. Classic Secret Rare. I remember getting this one as a as a kid there. Always nice to pull a, uh, a Secret Rare. Uh, doesn't feel as good as it did then, but, uh, you know, the magic's still there. It's always nice to have these uh, old secret rares. Uh, staying on that note, we got two First Ed uh, JD secret rares. Again, pick up those once relevant uh, meta cards, because um, they will be relevant again, whether it's um, through the vintage market or... Um, new support comes out but um i picked these up for uh, edison obviously i'm a big edison fan so i think i got those for 80s and they've appreciated quite nicely and of course jd's rival i like to call it jd's rival we got some dark arm dragon secret rares i'm looking for a third first edition just like jd um this one's probably my favorite card um in my vault the necro face or necro volto secret rare this one's an italian i love first edition uh, gladiators assault whenever i can get my hands on it i'll try my best to uh do that i know it's kind of an expensive market but um with four and it's not so bad i actually managed to pick this up for 60 dollars in 2018 i think troll and toad was having a sale so i was a little bit uh hesitant we all know that troll and toad near mint I think this is actually the sleeve it came in. Top loader, sorry. Um, but you know, it actually is near mint, I would say. Very flawless card. I think there's one like tiny nick at the top. Um, maybe very light played. I don't know. I also don't care. I got it for pretty cheap. Um, Gel and Duo. Yeah. Not first dead, but one of my favorite secret rares. I just love those mid 2000s secret rares. Something about them. They were a bit harder to track down, and the game wasn't very popular then. So, there's kind of that mystique around them. Like cards like, you know, Dragon Ice, Tongue Twister, Screech, Mormolith, Plasma Vice, I don't know, all that stuff. I love that. Um, first, not first edition, oh, we got Retro Pack 2. Of course, that was only just unlimited, but. I got two um, secret rings here. One's kind of damaged, but you can't really tell on the sleeve. I don't think it's this one. I can't even tell. Um, but I those were good pickups. I picked those up both locally for pretty cheap. It was a long time ago, but I knew those would go up. It's retro pack. It's a goat card. Uh, speaking of goat, we got everyone's favorite uh, contentious goat card. I'm sure I'll start a lot of arguments with it, but I'll just, uh, yeah, say Dark Revelations 4, Secret Rare Xerian. Traded a Secret Rare Ash for this back in the day. And one thing I'd love to uh, 
remind people about is timing is everything. So, you know, if you have a meta card that you know is going to get reprinted, it's probably best to trade that for vintage cards with more stable values and pick up that uh, meta card later on the reprint just so you can maintain the value of your collection. Next, we got Dark Revelations 4 Satellite Cannon, Secret Rare. Awesome card. I'm, and on that same note, I think I traded an Ultra Rare card of Demise for this. Um, they were equal value at the time, both around 50, 60 bucks. I remember when card of Demise was pretty expensive, but I had a feeling it was going to go down in price eventually, you know, every print. So decided to trade for this and, you know, I think it worked out in the end. Oh, we're back to some Retro Pack 2 cards. We got Dread Scythe Harvester. I think I only paid 20 bucks for this back in the day. Very slept on secret rare. It's Retro Pack and it never really got that much attention. So, you know, while people were sleeping, I was picking these up. Um, this one's a little bit more expensive, but I think I managed to get this for 60 bucks in 2018. And, um, yeah, great pickup. Um, I'm always down to get retro pack secrets, but uh, that window always gets some um, smaller and smaller. Um, I don't want to fork out hundreds, hundreds of dollars for a card right now. Um, first Ed Secret Greffer. Um, debatable, shouldn't really be in here. It's a foreign secret. I think its condition is kind of on the meh side, but I used to have an English first Ed, so that will take its place for now until I get one back. Another awesome, another mid 2000s secret. I'm just going to keep saying that, sorry, but Force of the Breaker, one of my favorite sets. Got a couple secret rares from there. I think I got another one coming up. Um, Tactical Evolution. I'm not going to say it, but that time period. Love the foil on this. It kind of bleeds a bit, which I understand is pretty common for a lot of secret rares, especially at that time. But beautiful card. And I apologize if these top loaders aren't looking fresh. <laughs> um, yeah, top loaders of... <laughs> Or in short supply for me, but yeah. Vampire Lord Secret from Dark Crisis. Uh, we're on that zombie train, so I guess we've got Goblin Zombie from Phantom Darkness. This one's pretty clean. I was pretty happy when I picked this up. I picked this up in an older collection with uh, the Alti, or sorry, the Secret First Ed JD. Um, it was from a player I know who's pretty prominent. Um, kind of the Teledad, like Sworn Era. He was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he had Max Lights for and Max Teledad, all that stuff. So I got some of his uh, pieces after his sellout there, but I was really happy to get that. Um, going back to Force of the Breaker, we got a first Ed uh, Diablos, King of the Abyss. Don't see these too often. Um, yeah. We got some heroes. We got the Elemental Hero Chaos Neos, first Ed. Glass. Big fan of those glass first Eds. Uh, it's no ghost, but it's a Phantom Darkness Rainbow Neos. First end. Another secret rare. We got Gladiator Beast uh, Heraclinos. First end from Glass. And I think for the secret rares, we're just going to cap things off with uh, our boy Yada. Unfortunately, the centering is a little bad, but this card is very crisp. And it's got that classic foil bleed on there. Not a misprint. <laughs> Foil Bleed is not a misprint. <laughs> Usually. Um, but this is a Legacy of Darkness First Ed Secret. I think I managed to just pick this up for about 80 bucks Canadian. Some guy selling all his old cards from, from childhood. We love to uh, hone in on those deals when you can. Someone's always quitting. Uh, okay, we got Collector Rares. I just started collecting Collector Rares. New rarity, obviously. Um, this is my Collector Rare Water Enchantress. I sometimes will use this in my deck. Not a good idea. I don't want to really get this too beat up. But sometimes you got to flex. It's one of my favorite Collector Rares. If you can see that sort of angular kind of shapes shining through the background, just so nice. 
secret rare rivalry of warlords. Sorry, collector's rare. Um, I need more of these. I'd love to play my Eldritch deck alongside these um, collector rare pot of extravagances, which I just recently picked up. I traded my pot of prosperities for these. So another example of uh, we got a reprint coming, so we got to, you know, lock ourselves into some more stable values here. Hopefully this uh, remains stable. Um, yeah. Not my favorite collector rare. It, it doesn't really pop as much as others, like Water Enchanters, but nice. I got a play set there. And then, sorry, these aren't top loaded. I'm running low. Great little super poly target there. Uh, Dragonfly, pick these up. They're still cheap. I know I'm going to pick up a third. Um, any collector rare. There's a lot that start out at like 20 bucks, like these ones. Um, just pick them up when you can. Um, I don't think collector rares are really going to tank. And it's a good rarity to just stock up on. Um, yeah, and some of the more pricier collector rares again. Rhoda. Love using this. I was using Infaminates for a bit when I was playing um, PK Brave or PK Adventure or whatever you want to call it. Uh, good card. Classic Rhoda. Um, e Telly. I need more of these, but very nice collector rare. I just recently picked that up. Uh, okay, let's move on to... Let's go to the uh, kind of tournament pack stuff. Some of it's kind of goat format. I don't know. We got Merchant. That was kind of my motivation to picking up a lot of these was goat format. Magical Merchant. Beckoning Light. Um, sorry. Sam Knight. Laquari. This is actually Chris's. Wave Motion. I know that one up during Mystic Mind format. Uh, Blaze Accelerator. You know, those Volcanics. Uh, Compulsory Evacuation Device. Great card. One of my favorites. Very slept on. Rigorous Reaver Ultra. We got some Ultras here. Doom Cals. I was picking these up for 20s, and I thought that was a steal. If you can still get them for cheap, do it. These aren't amazing yet. I don't know. I picked them up for like five bucks a pop. Um, Stark Magician Girl. Speed Dual Tournament Pack. Seems kind of obscure. Here's some Tournament Pack stuff for all you Tournament Pack fans. We got Morphing Jar. We got Needle Worm. Both in Super. Here's a Champion Pack uh, Stone Egg for you Diamond Dude Turbo guys. Uh, Fusion Sage, super. Uh, unfortunately foreign, but we got a uh, champion pack, uh, Mind Crush. One of my favorites, Sakuretsu Armor, super. Bottomless Trap Hole, super. Another one of my favorites. Yeah, these are kind of, I kind of picked these up for GOAT. Uh, Nimble Momonga. I think I got this Momonga and this Pyramid Turtle from uh, Jesse Cotton. He was auctioning these off. I was lucky enough to win those bids. Fun little fact. Um, Destiny Hero Fear Monger. Awesome super. Perfect circle. D heroes. All that fun stuff. These are a bit uh, nicer. I'd say. Turn pack two. Dragon Seeker. Um, Decuro Rider. Rare. I actually traded um, two secret ghost spells for these. And they were the same price at the time. So another example of timing it right. Um, big Shield Garden. Uh, has some wear, but I'm a big fan of this super. Uh, Mechanical Chaser. One of my favorite supers. It's a little late for me to get ultras, but we got it. We got a super. Um, yeah, we got debris super. I have two alties of these in my uh, Edison deck. Maybe I'll do a deck profile for that deck sometime. 
um toss a like or subscribe if you want to see more uh, edison stuff because um that's definitely on the horizon uh, and we got gravekeeper's assailant super rare from triple pack two one of my favorite turbo packs. I think we got Chaos Sorcerer uh, Ultra in there. Great set. Okay. Next on the docket here. Um, I'm going to probably speed through this a little bit. These are my uh, OTS Altis. Maybe I'll... Uh, zoom that out a bit. There we go. We've got Pot of Duality. Sorry. Thunder Dragon Rhino. Dandelion. Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Tsukiyomi. Nibiru. Colossus. Droll and Lockbird. Solemn Judgment. Times... Four, I think. I was obsessed with picking these up, but unfortunately I didn't really get as many as I wanted. Now they're a little expensive. Uh, Ecclesia, I've been picking these up. Great buy. Very low price right now. I think that will be a good hold. Arm Dragon, I just picked these up because they were cheap. I don't really think it's the best ulti, but an ulti's an ulti in my mind. Uh, Reflesia. Reflesia, sorry. <laughs> Kind of one of those bottom of the barrel alties in the grand scheme of things, but whatever. Dwellers. Castell. We're going to have some extra deck stuff. Dingirsus. Deco Talker. Firewall. And then I have this first dead uh, ulti Goyo I recently picked up. Uh, some goat stuff. Duo, Snatch Deal. These are okay. These are kind of crisp. I've been using these in my goat deck, so probably should stop doing that. But you got to flex. Air Knights. These aren't crazy, but I think this is a good pickup right now. If you can get your hands on some Air Knights while they're cheap. Uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict. These are the Retro Pack 2 Ultras. Okay, we're back to Alties again. We had a brief aside there. <laughs> um, Forbidden Droplet. Alties. Verb. No. <laughs> Twin Twister. Sorry, brain fart there. Um, scapegoat. And you know what? While I'm on that note, I think I have a little bit more to show off. I recently got these graded cards back after a long wait from uh, PSA. So we'll do a bit of an aside here. Um, Pot of Desires. I got some Gem Mint Tents here. I don't really know why I graded these ones. I should have graded older cards, but, you know, whatever. Good to get some tens. Got a ten on this book of moon too. Uh, nine on this ulti stratos. Wish I picked up more stratos when they were cheaper. And then yeah, here's that goat, which kind of <laughs> triggered my memory there. <laughs> Forgot I had these, but um yeah, nice ulti. Uh, back to ultis. We got tomb kingdom. Times four, I think. Yep. Yeah. And then we got Book of Moon. Alti. Great pickup. And we're going to close things off with just uh, a couple miscellaneous ones. My favorites. Uh, Dark Paladin. First Dead. Magician's Force. Pretty crisp, actually. Don't think I'll be parting with this one anytime soon. Uh, we got the 25th anniversary um, Dark Magician. I actually pulled this out of my sneak preview packs, and I didn't even realize it was in there until I looked through my comments. It's very kind of... I don't 
don't know. It was easy to miss, I'll say. But glad I uh, got one. I know they tanked in price on release, but it's still a good card to have. Uh, I just recently picked this up, as recent as today. Uh, Ghost Rare Dark Arms. Dark Arms is one of my favorite cards. Unfortunately, the quality on these new Ghost Rares are pretty poor. Uh, it's my first dead Rainbow Dragon Ghost. Only have two Ghost Rares. Should probably uh, step it up in that department. We got the classic Gold Rare Crush card. It's no prize card, but this was still a pretty penny to acquire back in the day. Um, and it's no first dead, but it's uh, blue, blue eyes, uh, ultra unlimited. It hangs out in the vault. I don't think it's going to be anywhere else. And then I got some first dead uh, dimension fusions. Good for go format. Chaos is OP. And then this is the last card in my vault, actually. The Starlight Rare uh, Time Thief Perpetua. I could use a couple more Starlights, of course, but it's not my favorite rarity. I find it kind of tacky and overpriced. Uh, personally, I'm a fan of Ultimate Rares and Collector Rares. It's all about that texture. Um, so that's it. Um, not too much. I know there's a lot uh, more high-end collectors out there, but... You know what, I thought I'd show off uh, what the team has, if anyone was curious. Um, comment below what your favorite uh, rarity is and what's your favorite uh, valuable card that you own. Love to get a discussion going uh, in the comments with you guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. we got a lot more content coming out, uh, whether it be uh, you know stuff to do with um, collecting, investing, or... Um, duels and deck profiles we're going to be pretty heavy on uh, deck profiles um lately with the new format but we're going to have a diversity of uh, content going forward so yeah that's all for now guys thank you